Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about what is document cache and advantages of document cache and different types of document caches in Boomi. So first we'll see what is document cache. Document cache is used to temporarily store the frequently used documents in the atom. Advantages of document cache. So the main advantage of the document cache is to avoid multiple connector calls to an application within a main process or single process and document cache saves developers times as well document cache must contain at least one index value and every index value contains at least one key value so the key and index value represents the primary key of the profile so we'll see how to set index value and how to set key values under document cache so now cache type in boomi document caches are classified into three types add to cache retrieve from cache and remove from cache so we'll discuss all these caches on boomi one by one so this is our previously created process in a last video we discussed about data process shape if you haven't watched my last video please go and check it out now so document cache is one of the components so under folder we need to create new component for type we need to select document cache this is the document cache okay and then click on create so this is the document cache component so here you can change your document cache name however you want i'm changing into document cache demo okay so after that we need to select cache contents okay how you are going to cache the documents if you know what profile you are going to store at that time you can choose cache by profile and then here you can select profile type which profile type you are going to caching so suppose if you are going to caching flat file you need to select flat file so after that you need to choose profile which profile you are going to store so i am select demo one flat file okay suppose if you are not sure about structure of the document that time you can choose cache without profile okay see the cache by profile is disabled here so now i know what document i'm going to store so from source system i'm getting flat file so that's why i'm choosing cache by profile option okay so after that we have option called enforce one index entry per document so here you are going to specify index and then key values okay so suppose if you got same index multiple times this option will throw an exception because it assumes that there are duplicate record and you selected this enforce one index entry per document for each document it should be a one unique index so here we need to specify index so by clicking on add index you need to specify index name okay so first we'll see profile fields so we have employee name employee id phone number mail id and then address so by seeing the profile you can get to know unique field right see employee name multiple employees may have same name and sometimes some employees may have phone number and some employees may don't have phone number same mail id and then address as well but the id is unique right for each employee there will be a one unique id so in this profile id is the unique value for each employee right so for index i am declaring index name as employee id okay so this is the index so after that for each and every index we need to declare one key right so here by clicking on add profile element key here you can see structure of the profile which you selected on cache by profile type okay so here you can choose id so for each and every employee there will be a one unique id right suppose cache stores uh, 10 documents and you want to get only one specific employee document at that time you can pass that specific employee id 
so that this document cashier will return the specific employee document because you declared reference value as id so that's why so whenever you pass that particular id it will this document cashier will return that particular employee details so now i am saving and closing the document cashier component so as i said caches are classified into three types right add to cache retrieve from cache and remove from cache so these are the different types of caches okay so document cache is component and these add to cache retrieve from cache and remove from cache these three are the shapes so these add to cache retrieve from cache remove from cache shapes are the execute shapes so that's why you can find these shapes under execute shapes okay so first we'll see what is add to cache shape okay so here you can find definition of the cache add to cache shape the add to cache shape is used to add documents to a document cache so that they can be used in a process or sub process the add to cache shape reference a document cache component which describes how the cache is defined okay so we have already created document cache okay and now we are using add to cache shape to stores the documents temporarily into the atom okay so so add to cache shape is used to add documents to a document cache suppose if you want to store some documents temporarily at that time you can create document cache and then you can use add to cache shape to store those particular documents okay so we'll see how to configure add to cache shape so here display name so this is not a mandatory field if you want to give you can give otherwise you can leave as it is after that we have option called document cache so here you can choose your created document cache if you have already created document cache you can choose from here otherwise you can create new document cache by clicking on the plus button see this is we have already configured right so i am just closing this window and i am trying to choose my document cache which i have created earlier so this is the cache document cache demo so from source system i am getting some employee details employee name one name two employee details okay and after that i am splitting those flat file line by line split by line so suppose as per your requirement if you want to store your uh, documents temporarily at that time you can choose add to cache shape to add documents to a document cache so now i'm connecting data process shape to the add to cache so those documents whatever coming from the source system those documents will store into a add to cache and you can use those stored documents whenever wherever you want okay i'm just testing the process now something got wrong uh, we'll see error message now see input profile location phone number uh, invalid data element minimum length not reached we have uh, length validations on profile right so that's why it got rejected so i'll just open the profile for phone number i'm just removing the field length validations okay just for time being in the process execution got completed we'll see whether the documents got stored into add to cache or not see the two documents got stored into cache type one is 120 id and another one is 121 id so now we have added documents into add to cache component okay so after that we want to retrieve those documents so based on your requirement suppose in some way you want to retrieve your documents uh, which you already stored on add to cache document so that time you need to use retrieve from cache shape so here you can find definition of the retrieve from cache shape the retrieve from cache shape is used to retrieve documents from a document cache so that they can be used in a process or sub process the retrieve from cache shape references a document cache component which describes how the cache is defined 
so we have already created document cache and we have already added documents to the add to cache shape so now we are trying to retrieve those documents right so for that purpose we are using retrieve from cache shape so now we can see how to configure retrieve from cache shape so first we have display name so this is not a mandatory option if you want to give you can give otherwise you can leave as it is so after that we need to choose document cache so we have already created document cache right so we need to choose same cache here so after that we have retrieve option under retrieve option you have two options all documents or employee id suppose if you want to retrieve all documents whatever stores on the add to cache shape if you want to retrieve all those documents at that time you can choose all doc suppose if you want to retrieve any specific employee details at that time you need to choose that index so employee id is the index which we created on document cache component right so for that we need to choose that employee id and then here we need to pass that particular employee id value i mean we have two employee ids one is 120 and another one is 121 right suppose if you want to retrieve 121 employee details here you need to give that 121 value here so that it will retrieve 121 id employee details we'll see whether we can able to retrieve that particular 121 employee details or not so for that reason i am using branch shape so we have already know branch shape is used to execute multiple actions sequentially right so in first branch i am saving those documents into document cache so in second branch i am planning to retrieve those documents with the help of retrieve from cache okay so we'll see whether we'll get 121 records from document cache or not so i'm saving the process and i'm going to test the process to see the results we'll check whether we got 121 employee records or not see 121 employee records here and in the second document as well 121 okay see 121 employee records got retrieved from retrieve from cache shape okay you are seeing two outputs at the end of the branch too because from source system we are getting two documents right so up to branch shape we got two documents and after that two documents will pass to first branch and after that the same two documents will pass to second branch as well right so that's why it executed twice i mean we have two documents right so that's why it is executed two times retrieve from cache shape got executed two times and in two times we got same results 121 employee details only okay see we have 121 employee records in both records okay so this is how we need to configure retrieve from cache so as per your requirement if you want to remove those documents whatever stores on the document cache shape at the time you can use remove from cache so remove from cache shape is used to remove documents from a document cache so that they can no longer be used in a process or sub process the remove from cache shape reference a document cache component which describes how the cache is defined so we'll see how to configure remove from cache shape so this is a display name this is not a mandatory option if you want to give you can give otherwise you can leave as it is after that we have document cache so here we need to choose document cache which we already created that is document cache demo and after that we need to choose remove whether we need to remove all documents whatever stores on the document cache component or we need to remove any specific employee document okay so if you want to remove any specific employee document you can remove that one so we have 120 and then 121 id right so i am going to remove 121 so here i am adding one more branch to add the remove from cache shape as well okay and i am testing the process see here documents got added into add to cache shape and here documents are retrieved from retrieve from cache shape 
and here documents are removing from the cache document cache with the help of remove from cache sheet so here we removed 121 employee records right so in i'm just adding one more branch to check whether it got removed properly or not so i'm just copying retrieve from cache shape from second branch and then pasting in fourth branch so here we'll try to retrieve 121 record okay so we are removing same 121 record in third branch and we are trying to retrieve same record in fourth branch so we'll see whether we'll get 121 record in fourth branch or not okay, i'm saving the process and i'm testing the process see if you see here there is no employee records got returned here from retrieve from cache because the same record got removed in third branch and same record we are trying to retrieve in fourth branch so that's why retrieve from cache didn't return any documents suppose if you want to retrieve 121 record it will return the document because we are not removing that 120 employee details from remove from cache shape retrieve from cache shape return some documents okay we'll see whether it is 120 record or not see 120 record only and even in second document also 120 it just executed twice because we have two documents from the source shape so this is how we need to configure document cache and add to cache shape retrieve from cache shape and then remove from cache shape hope you understand today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye